Nick Drummond was just an ordinary private school boy until he went rogue on a drunken night out. He not only insulted a young woman, he punched her to the ground. Then the court handed down a ruling that's caused outrage. Now's the time to apologise for your actions. I mean, come on. It's, just, it's not fair. What's not fair is the fact that a woman was punched in the face, verbally abused, assaulted, had her property damaged. Another man was assaulted by Nicholas Drummond. Nick Drummond is 20 years old, but he clearly still has a lot to learn. His opinion on this woman's outfit and his actions that followed ultimately landed him before court and in the public's bad books. It's not fair. What, what's not fair? What you said to her? It's telling okay. her to put oh, her f away? Okay. Okay. That wasn't fair. In December last year, the former Knox Grammar student was at a pub on Sydney's Upper North Shore when he told a random young woman, put those f away, you f the pair then both ended up at another pub in Chatswood where the victim took a photo of Drummond before he punched an innocent bystander, then hit her in the face, knocking her to the ground. He then grabbed her phone, smashed it, stomped on it and said repeatedly, you s Come on, you need to know that this behaviour is not OK. I mean, what were you thinking? Drummond was given a community release order and a conviction, but went to the district court to appeal it. Judge Robert Sutherland presided over the appeal and said Drummond went out with his mates and had, if I may speak in the colloquial, a skinful, had arisen against the background of a particularly unhappy and unfortunate 2020. The judge, who also went to an all-boys school in Sydney's north, cited the former Knox student went through a breakup, dropped out of a uni course and his dog died, among other woes. He made a lewd and completely inappropriate remark to a young lady who he did not know, but whose dress might have been perceived by a 20-year-old former student from Knox to be provocative. And that his loose tongue and loose thoughts commenced the entire interaction. The judge decided to quash the soccer coach's conviction, ending with this send-off. I've got no doubt that you will thank your mother and thank your lucky stars and keep your nose clean, young man, and good luck with the coaching when you are allowed to get back to it. You're lucky you didn't get a conviction and a lot of people are upset by that. I was disappointed that the judge gave any uh, credibility to Nicholas's view that her outfit may have been provocative. What a woman wears is no excuse to call them any names and certainly no excuse to use physical violence against them. Tarang Chawla's sister was killed by her ex-partner and he passionately advocates against violence. The courts for a long time have benefited people who have wealth, means and entitlement and privilege to be able to appeal decisions, to be able to afford expensive barristers and lawyers and that's clearly what's happened with Nicholas Drummond and his unfortunate two victims. Why can't you just say sorry? Do you understand that the behaviour is not okay? Yes, I'm aware. I've said, I've said my apologies, but no one wants to listen. I'm, I'm going who, to say... Who did you say your apology I'm, I'm to? Not, I'm not talking, OK? Leave but just hours minute. after we approached him, Nick Drummond issued a statement to the media. I would like to offer an unconditional apology to the people I have hurt by my actions. They fill me with shame and regret. I am deeply remorseful. The judge's comments are regrettable and have exposed me to intense media scrutiny. I am a 20-year-old who did a terrible thing on one night of my life. Sorry again to everyone. Nicholas is a young guy, so I want to give him the benefit of the doubt that it takes him time to process what's going on in order, in order to be able to issue a genuine heartfelt apology. The problem is that you had to approach him first and then his apology read like it was written by someone else. The decision to let Drummond off without a conviction angered the community, with one women's brand parking a truck outside Knox Grammar stating, you will not silence our pain. You know, to call a girl a I mean, I find it highly offensive. New South Wales Attorney General Mark Speakman said, I acknowledge the disappointment of the victims in this matter and the community concerns at the outcome of the appeal. Judicial officers have the option to record no conviction. This is not a finding that the offender is innocent. What he's facing is not cancel culture, it's accountability for his actions. And I think that he should issue a genuine apology to his victims.
As for his female victim who wants to remain anonymous. She's also currently been overwhelmed by the public support and I think what's really heartening there is that we're developing a community that has a zero tolerance to this kind of behaviour. We've been told there'll be a demonstration in Sydney tomorrow calling for Nick Drummond's conviction to be reinstated. The DPP's office says it's considering the court's decision but says there's only limited avenues of appeal available for hearings like this.